Hello and welcome to Andy's famous spaghetti restaurant. I'm Andy, the owner, chef, manager, accountant, dishwasher and server of the restaurant. I guess you could call this a one-man job, quite literally. Anyways, today I will be giving you a tour of the place and revealing the secret spaghetti recipe that makes us so famous. Let us begin in the dining area. This part of the restaurant can get quite dusty because of the lack of use but it is still a very important section in case anybody ever decides to stop him. I am aware that the restaurant can only seat two, but that is what makes it so unique, the cozy and intimate setting. Plus, it is all I could afford with last year's birthday money. You may also notice the very telling quote framed on the wall. It is a very interesting passage told to me by my grandfather when I was just a young boy. Anyways, moving on, we are now in the kitchen. Now this place is like home to me and quite literally because this is where I live. See? This is my sleeping bag. Anyways, other than my bed, this little room contains one oven, one cupboard and one hand pump sink. Here's a fun fact. I have accidentally started five kitchen fires in here within the past three months and have lost my insurance. Oh, and let's not forget, another inspirational quote told by my grandmother. Alright, now that you have seen the entire restaurant, let us get to what you have all been waiting for the secret spaghetti recipe. So, to begin, you must go to your local grocery store and buy a package of raw spaghetti. Now, most people would then boil the noodles in a pot of water, but here at Andy's, we are different and original. So, simply put the raw noodles into a bowl. Now, here comes the fun part. Just add anything you want on top. Personally, I like to go for a good spoonful of chocolate syrup with caramel candies, bubblegum, asparagus, and pepperonis. However, everybody has different preferences, so feel free to add whatever extra ingredients you find necessary. The final step of the recipe is to let the full bowl sit in the sun for a good two hours just to add the extra heat and scent to the dish. And there you have it, folks, Andy's famous spaghetti recipe. You may not think that it is a famous dish at first, but just look at this news article released in my local newspaper. I am so proud to have finally been recognized for my skills, so I have framed this article and posted it on the front door of the restaurant in order to show the community how much of a local celebrity I am. So, if you ever come around the area, don't forget to stop in for a fantastic experience. Goodbye.